Welcome to our SCOM AC Devotional Weekly. We uh, continue walking through the statement of faiths and core values of our church and denomination. Um, last time, um, I had a look at our statement of faith and core values on uh, Christian living and world evangelism. And this week, uh, we're going to follow up with our understanding of healing and how it applies as uh, various uh, different core values. So looking at um, Statement of Faith uh, number eight, um, I'm going to flip that over. Um, statement of Faith number eight basically says uh, on healing, provision is made in the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ for the healing of the mortal body. Prayer for the sick and anointing with oil as taught in the scriptures are privileges um, for the church in this present age. And there's a couple of um, references um, uh, from the Bible, uh, most notably uh, the one from, from Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 17, and uh, what, what we commonly uh, have, have uh, heard um, in, in various sermons, uh, taken from James chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. And I'm just going to quote uh, verse 14 to you uh, from the Bible, from James, in the passage in James. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. So a couple of observations on healing here. Um, so we have some biblical examples uh, of teaching and practice of healing, uh, definitely in, in, in the New Testament, uh, with Jesus and the disciples. Um, uh, healing is, is, is both physical and spiritual. So, uh, so we note uh, that, that healing has, has taken place uh, where, where somebody is physically sick or, or hurting, uh, or, or, uh, and as well as uh, the spiritual side. And this has always been an historical understanding of healing, uh, so ever since the very beginning uh, founding of the CNMA with, uh, with uh, A.B. Simpson. So as we move into the to core values, um, we have uh, core value number seven. Uh, we have uh, core value number seven on, on leadership. Um, and how, how this may relate to, to healing. Um, I'll just read the core value out first. Le leadership is therefore, we intentionally identify and train godly leaders. We affirm and empower our pastors and other credentialed workers and lay leaders, esteeming them highly in the Lord. We, we know that uh, there are times where where as, as human beings, we as leaders, um, uh, we have failed or we've made mistakes. And, and, and we ask uh, a lot of times for healing. And in, in, in many ways, we, we ask for the healing uh, from, from others, from each other, um, where, 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 where leadership has sometimes made mistakes. And so we, we, we want to practice this core value of the CNMA, where we, we affirm uh, godly leaders, we empower uh, pastors and other credential workers, uh, and lay leaders, um, and esteem them highly in the Lord. As we move on to core value number eight, we look at cooperation. Um, we serve each other with humility and compassion. We create strategies, structures, and policies that can enhance local initiative and maximize cooperation. We develop strategic partnerships with those of like-minded message, mission, passion, and purpose. So this can be taken at, at two different levels, both um, within our church, as, as we um, have a number of different programs, have a number of different um, uh, services um, that, that we, we need to work together uh, with humility and with compassion and so that we have the single um, way that we can we can maximize this cooperation the other the other the other aspect is 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 more uh, more organizationally uh, we we as a church we exist not only as a single entity that happens to exist in Scarborough 
but, but we actually are part of a family of churches, uh, both in the denomination as well as the broader understanding of, of, of uh, the Christian church around the world. So, uh, we, you know, the CNMA was actually created to be uh, an alliance of Christians, uh, not just its own standalone denomination. So, so as we come together, we, we need to find ways to work together where, where it makes sense to develop these partnerships. And, and how this how this ties in in terms of healing we, we you know we, we have a lot of history where where we we haven't worked well together sometimes and a lot of it is comes down to to to, to working with each other with humility and compassion uh, not just because we can do it on our own and finally the last core value I want to touch upon is is on social responsibility core value number nine we uphold biblical justice. We minister to the poor and oppressed as ministry to Jesus himself. Most notably, you know, things like like uh, taking care of the, the, the homeless, taking care of the sick, taking care of, uh, you know, some prison ministry. So so we encourage the, the second, uh, the, the last sentence of this, this core value is that we encourage and strengthen marriages and families. And this is, this is notable here in terms of, of our healing, our understanding of healing, uh, where, where marriages and families are, are the, sort of the foundation. And so we, we understand in, in this day and age that, that, uh, that, that uh, the, this is fractured in many ways uh, without, without uh, proper healing uh, amongst uh, ourselves. So a couple of key takeaways on this. Um, we're all hurting at some point in our lives. Uh, sometimes uh, physically, uh, sometimes emotionally or spiritually, and, and really, um, you know, Jesus has come to heal us. Um, and and you know, do we do we allow uh, for for Jesus to heal us? So let's pray, and we'll close off our, our short time together. Our gracious dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, for this this uh, brief time that we have together to come together to understand your your understanding of, of healing to, to come together and to, to explore this, this, this uh, uh, statement of faith in, in our denomination on healing and what you would like us to do, how you would like us to, to act out uh, this, this statement of faith is not just a, a, a belief or an understanding, but something that we can act out upon. And so, Lord, we ask for humility. We ask for uh, the ability to cooperate to others. We ask for, for areas where we can reach out to, to help others to heal. And we ask you, Lord, most, most importantly, for your spirit to come and heal all of us. We do praise the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.